I'm Nathan and welcome back to PSLE Math 2021 Paper 2 Question Series and today I'll be going through question 14. So let's get started. Okay, this is question 14 and it is testing us on ratio and grouping and number times value. So let's get started. The number of adult tickets so was 5 times the number of child tickets so. Okay. This means that adult tickets were 5 times the number of child, uh, child tickets, meaning that adult was actually 5 units while child was 1 unit. Okay, next. 5, 8 of the adult tickets so were for adults each below 60. Okay, a total of $5,589 was collected from the sale of tickets. So everybody. What fraction of the tickets sold, that means what fraction of uh, the tickets sold, meaning everybody who bought the tickets, were for adults age 60 and above? So it's basically 60 and above over the total. Okay? So uh, there's this table over here. They've given us this table over here. This table basically telling us that there's one type, which is adult. And in this adult category, there are two uh, separate categories. One is below 60 and 60 years and above. So these are the prices per ticket. $16 for a below 60, $11 for above 60, and for child who are below 16 years old, are actually $7, okay? So, first, I'm going to write down the information that I already know, like this um, adult to child ratio. So, for adult to children, I'm going to put 5 is to 1 because the adult is actually 5 units as they were 5 times the number of child tickets. And next, there's this other ratio that we already know because 5 8 of the adult tickets were for below 60. So for above 60, so for above 60, it will be 3 over 8. So it's basically 5 is to 3, right? 5 units is to 3 is to the total. So, 5 units is to 3 is to the total. Okay, actually, if you realize something, this adult category is basically under these, these three things over here, or these two things. So, young adults and seniors are actually under this adult category. So, the total must actually add up to the adult category over here. So, 5 and 8 are supposed to be the same. So, what I'm going to do now is to actually make the, the, the number same. So I'm going to find the lowest common multiple for, for both of them. So basically, we can make them both into 40. So I'm going to take this 8 into 40 and 3 uh, times 5, 5 times 5 and 8 times 5 into 40. And this one, I'm going to, and for this, I'm going to times 8 on both sides. So 5 times 8, it will give me 40, and 1 times 8, it will give me 8. And so this ratio is, uh, is already fixed right now. So it actually makes sense, okay? So they're asking us for the fraction of the tickets sold for the adults age 60 and above. So 60 and above are basically the seniors. So young adults are basically for below 60 and the seniors are actually above 60 okay so the above 60 we we can see that it is 15 over the total units which is actually 40 plus 8 because the total units is supposed to be everybody right so adult plus children so the total units is actually 40 plus 8 which will give us the answer of 48 okay so Basically, the fraction is going to be 15 over 48. So the seniors are 15. We already know that. So the fraction is going to be 15 over 48. Okay. So this is uh, this is not a simplest form because they are asking us to give our answer in the simplest form. So the simplest form is actually 5 over 16. And this will be our answer for part A. Okay. So I hope you understood part A. Now let's move on to part B. What was the total number of tickets sold? Okay, so the total number of tickets sold. For this, we need to use grouping method. Okay, so first, what I'm going to do is to find one group. So one group is actually going to be 25 young adults, 
15 and 40. Sorry, 15 and 8. So one group is going to be 25 of this, 25 of young adults times 16, plus 15 of this times 11, 15 of 60 years and above, and 8 children tickets. But this is not actually the, the correct value because this is only a unit. So in order to find the correct value, we are going to find the total value for this. So this is basically 400 plus 165 dollars plus 56, which will give us an answer of 621 dollars. And actually this total is supposed to add up with 5,589 dollars, but it's not the same. So in order to find how many groups, how many of these sets make 5,589, I'm going to take 5,000 uh, 589 divided by 621 dollars which will give me nine groups so there are actually nine groups of um, these people so in order to find the total number of tickets so i'm going to take nine groups times 48 okay which will give us an answer of 432 okay so i hope you understood my explanation for this question and thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.